Me, it just makes me a little nervous because, you know, I have a baby. I think that, you know, drugs being imported from other places to here, it really needs to stop. Neighbors shaking their heads at the news of a major fentanyl bust just blocks from the Bronx daycare where a one year old died of fentanyl poisoning less than two weeks ago. 42 year old Juan Gabriel Herrera Vargas was arraigned Thursday night on major drug trafficking charges. On Tuesday, investigators say they watched Herrera Vargas wheel a rolling suitcase out of the Kingsbridge Road subway station. When approached, they say Herrera Vargas showed his ID and fled, leaving the luggage behind. Inside, 13 kilogram bricks of suspected fentanyl. That's approximately 780,000 potential lethal doses of fentanyl. Herrera Vargas then reportedly injured himself, scaling a barbed wire fence to get back into the apartment and was taken into custody when he emerged with another suitcase. This one, investigators say, contained 50,000 bags of a suspected fentanyl heroin mix ready for sale. And inside, it had a, a lot of paraphernalia, uh, drug paraphernalia all over it. We don't believe it was his residence. Special narcotics prosecutor Bridget Brennan calls the case highly unusual. We're talking about drugs of this quantity. We haven't seen just one person both transporting and packaging. What wasn't unusual is where it happened. Because the Bronx has so many highways that go through it, uh, the, a lot of the trafficking operations have a base in the Bronx.